Hello Renderbots, welcome back to um, Motion Tutorial here at Renderbots HQ. Uh, today we're going to looking at animating. Now, animating is, uh, or can be, quite difficult here in Motion. So what I'm going to do is take you through it very slowly and show you the most easiest way to animate and then maybe add another uh, section to that later on. So we're going to learn to animate today, so let's crack on and get ahead with it. Okay, so here we are inside of Motion, and if you follow my other tutorials, um, you might know what to do here. If not, I'll quickly go through it. So the first thing we do is highlight the word Motion Project here. Okay, there it is. We're going to just do a quick um, tutorial, so nothing too HD. -y. So let's keep it on 720. Let's knock this down to 25 frames per second, and 30 seconds is all we're going to need to uh, get us started. Again, we can change this time code later on. So with all that set, we're now going to press the word Open. And here we are inside of Motion. Perfect. So we're going to look at animating. And, and it's, as I said before, there's lots of ways of doing this. So let's start off really, really simple. So I'm going to grab hold of the word T here. So press the word T. Nothing happens, which, we, which we're used to by now. So we're going to click anywhere inside of our canvas. OK, I'm going to type in the word render bots. OK, as simple as that. Now, if you follow my other tutorials, don't worry, we're going to go through this. Um, hit the uh, top left hand escape key or if you're using a MacBook 2016 with the touch bar you'll see the word done on the uh, top left hand corner just tap on that this means now I'm free to move this wherever I want otherwise I can still type still type so now I have this you'll see that my uh, my lines are trying to give me the center of the uh, screen here so what I want to do is move this from here into here okay so to do this, I'm going to drag this out of the window. Now a little tip for you here is, as I drag this out of the window, you'll see if I click off it, I can still see it in my, in my uh, render window, as it were. Now the reason why I'm seeing this is because I have something switched on under the word view. So under the word view, make sure this is highlighted, show a full view area. If I click off it, it disappears. It's still there somewhere, but I've got to click a, click a lot of times to try and find it. Okay, which doesn't really help me. So under the word view, make sure the word show full view area is highlighted. There you go. This enables me to find it really easily. It took me a long time to find that, but um, it means that anything in this black window here, this is the black canvas here, anything outside of this, the viewer won't see. So there I've got the word uh, renderbots. You'll see on the left hand side of my project window, it's got the word renderbots highlighted and it's sitting in a group, okay? So I'm gonna double click on the word group and change that to the word text. Okay, so we know inside that group there is the word render bots. And I can close this little uh, collapsible uh, uh, triangle here to say that's what's going to happen. Okay, so here we have the word render bots. Okay, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to have this just coming from this point all the way to this point. Nice and simple. Okay, so it's going to move across the screen. So the first thing I do is click on the word render bots so it knows. That's what, I animate, what, that's what I want to animate. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my timeline and make sure that my playhead, so this is my playhead, is at the zero, okay? So it's sitting over here. Okay, so we see we move through. There's a time there. So I'm going to make sure my playhead is there. All set? Good. So we're going to hit the word record. Now, when I press record, it actually puts something called a keyframe at that position, in other words, it knows that the word render bots isn't being seen by anybody else at the moment. The next thing I'm going to do is move my playhead forward, let's say to about 10 seconds there, roughly. Okay, and all I'm going to do now is drag this from here to the right hand part of the screen. Ready? So click and hold and drag. As I drag, you'll see, I'm keeping my finger on the mouse as I'm dragging. Okay, you'll see that there's a red line that's moving with me. And these are all the keyframes that are being built in to make this happen. So all I'm going to do is drag it off the screen, and it's really good as you'll see it's starting to click to these nice um, horizontal lines there. So I'm going to say go there. Okay, that's it. Okay, let go. Uncheck the word record. Voila. So what we have now here is uh, the end uh, position. So let's hit the play button here. Okay, see it's coming off there. We don't want to do that. Let's hit rewind first. Okay, so when I hit play now, there we have our first bit of animation. As crude as that might seem, that's such a great thing to learn from, from the get-go. 
okay now hopefully guys you'll see down here I've got these little red um, uh, diamonds here okay so red diamonds are telling me these are keyframes so you'll see that if you can't see these red diamonds with this little white line is let's switch them on so we do it by this little icon here you see and I call this the gutter because they sit in between uh, like little roads I imagine it's been a road with the gutter either side and then we have the pavement so this is what I call the gutter and it's open up the gutter to say here you go so these are actually our keyframes okay and they sit in our little gutter switch it on switch it on so this is really important to have this open now we'll go back okay so I'll press play again and we'll see it's there now don't worry about the red line the reason why we're seeing the red line is because I've actually got the word render bots highlighted so if you click anywhere outside the canvas we'll see it disappears right nice and simple okay so let's press pause let's press rewind press play here we go so there is our first bit of animation could not be easier so what tends to happen at this point is when I show people this they go right well what if I want to slow it down or speed it up the beautiful thing about this is the animation is set in other words it's set to go from left to right but if I want to make that faster or slower all I'm going to do is move my keyframe that I've already created down here just by pressing the record button so if I move this half the distance press rewind and press play you'll see it's moving a lot faster this is because it's got to do that whole action but do it in less time so if I move this keyframe all the way over here what's going to happen nice and simple it's now going to take a long time to get there okay good so we can apply this action to everything and the beautiful thing about YouTube is you can stop my video here rewind and take a whole look at that thing again all right so there is how we animate really really simply inside of motion so how can we do this and make it a bit of fun okay so what we can do is get rid of render bots and we'll take a look at my desktop so if I press the word um, import you'll see my desktop I have this car and I have this kind of jazzy background uh, I simply just dragged these from the internet so what I'm going to do is let's import this car and we're going to see what happens press this import okay and there's my car okay and if I go import again and grab hold of my background there is there's a background and press import again so you'll see now that under here we've got a screenshot and a screenshot so let's rename these first so I'm going to double click on the screenshot and call this um, let's highlight this and press and call it background okay so there's our background and there is my car so double click on that we call this car okay now you'll see I can't see the car because it's sitting on top of my background so I've got to click and hold and drag and lift so therefore my car is now on top of that okay right good now at this point you'll see that this car has a white background and actually I quite like to get rid of that so there's a really cool filter in here that's going to let me get rid of just that background okay so we're going to do something called a filter and the filter is called keying see this button here keying and press the word key okay and what that keying thing done is has looked at my picture and tried to eliminate something from it so I'm gonna to go to my inspector here and I'm under inspector there's something called a filter because the key is our filter and you see the word sample color there I'm giving a click and click and drag over the white part there see that so I click and hold and drag what this has done now is remove any of the white that was surrounding the picture a really cool way to knock out um, a, a complete color in this case just the white background okay so there's my key and that's done so if I look now my car can happily sit above there just using that key so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record um, this car coming from here all the way through here now a really good tip here is that I can actually uh, hold down the command key and press minus and what that does is that lets me zoom in and out of my canvas okay command plus command minus so there we go so now I've got the car over here and remember anything outside we're not going to see let's click on the background and you'll see I've got these little blue dots these are kind of like what I call my handlebars my handles I can click and drag these any way I want to so what I'm going to do folks is stretch this a bit out of proportion so you wouldn't normally do this normally but I want it to sort of go over here okay right 
So there is my trees. Now you see the white area of my camera. So this is what the what your your customer, your viewer is going to see. So it's going to see this white thing here. So the first thing I'm going to do is animate the trees moving it in one direction and the car moving in the opposite direction. Okay, bear with me. We'll see now that um, in my timeline here we have the word car, we have the Kia which took out the white part of the uh, the picture, then we have the background which I've renamed. So the first thing I'm going to do with the background is I'm going to press record. Okay, that's all I've done, I press record. Now I'm going to move the timeline forward. Let's go um, roughly around 15. Now all I'm going to do is pick this um, background up and move it to the right. Now you see the keyframes taking a little red line across there, nice and simple. There we go, and let go. All right. So uncheck record because we finished. All right, let's hit rewind here. Let's press play. Fantastic. So we see the, um, the trees are now moving across. So now we want the car to go in the opposite direction. So again, this is really simple, guys. What we're going to do is make sure the car's on top layer, which it is. Okay, we're going to have this moving from here to here. So let's position our car um, about there. Let's make sure the car's highlighted, which it is. The timeline is at zero. And we're going to press record. Okay, simple as that. We're going to move our timeline forward, maybe in half the time. Okay, and just drag our car. So click and hold and drag our car from one position to the other, like so. So there you go. Hopefully it's all set. Let's uncheck record. Let's hit rewind. Let's click out of the frame. So anywhere in this dark area, out of the frame, and press play. And there we go. We've got two layers moving independently in the most simplest way possible. Love that. Okay, so let's pause. Let's hit rewind. So a good way of uh, maneuvering around this canvas is you'll see up here, you've got the word 66%. We can say to fit, which automatically gives me the full 100%. But if we're back to 50%, for example, a really good shortcut I use all the time. I show all my customers this. It's really, really easy. We're going to hold down shift and tap the Z key. So shift, hold down shift, tap Z, and you automatically get this 100% straight away. It just saves um, us having to go all the way up to the top of here and maneuvering inside and out of our canvas. Not really sure how big to go. So shift and Z says, give me the full frame of my animation. So what we're seeing now is, be it a very small black line around the edges there. So press the play, and there's our animation, okay. simple as that so really really simple folks i want to keep it really simple for first bit of animation because there's lots we can do there's something called behaviors which we'll look at again um in our probably our next episode of animation but as simple as we get that's how we do it so in our next session we'll look at advanced animation how we can start to see, put our own keyframes in and really test it but for now have a go at that let me know how you get on now before we um uh, finish this tutorial what I want to do is save this okay so we're gonna to go to the word file here and we see the word save okay now when we save this is really really important guys is when you save we're gonna call it save as so let's call it um car animation okay something simple like that and you'll see here it's got the word collect media off now I want to press this copy to folder and this is really important what it does is it takes everything I've used outside of motion in other words the picture of the background of the trees the picture of the car and it brings it into a file structure inside of motion and it creates a little folder called media and what's gonna happen is it will copy so do a copy of all the contents and put it into its folder so whenever you move this project to a USB stick or you put it online that folder will always go with it otherwise here's what's gonna happen the media, if you delete it off the desktop, it deletes it from our, um, our animation so it can't be seen. So always make sure you press this copy to folder button here. So I'm gonna press um, save. Okay, so it's saved. Let's uh, minimize this. Okay. Now when I look at my folder here, we've got the word car animation, which I'll, I've got. Double click that. You'll see here the word car animation. Now inside of there, that is my motion project file. Okay, that's really important. I see people like just bringing these on the USB stick and they come to the session, they sit there, they double click it and suddenly everything they've used in their project 
isn't isn't available. So this is what that button's done is it's creating a folder called media, and inside that is both the photograph of the car and the backdrop. So this is why it's important to check that file. Okay, so that's the file I would bring with me to another session and make sure all my all my assets are inside of there because of the media file. Hopefully that makes sense. So. Thanks very much for watching. Really, really cool little tutorial there, and just a basic, basic animation inside of motion. Uh, big news: um, I wasn't able to resolve my Twitter situation, so you'll see the word at render bots with a Z is suddenly there. So at render bots is really important because that's now my new Twitter handle. You can find um, anything about me, or you want to contact me very quickly. Jump on there for me. Um, as a bit of a kind of thing, anybody who um, who kind of follows me on Twitter, I'll give a mention here in the window, okay? So anybody who follows me on uh, Renderbots, I'll mention them on uh, on, on my next um, session with you guys, okay? You also so got like and subscribe, because this really helps Renderbots um, and myself uh, get um, a little bit more popular. So please like and subscribe and share. So next session, I promise we're gonna look at a bit more animation, uh, but let me know how you go on with that. How do you feel about it? Um, how'd it go for you? Uh, that'd be great. So until next time, Take care, see you soon, happy rendering.